Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Friday the 16th of March 2018. I'm Darren Sindon and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's take a look at overnight changes and price moves to be aware of. Uh, another very quiet session, uh, one of many across the course of this week. Um, we've just got one item really I think we want to focus on, and that is uh, dollar yen, 105.90. So the yen has appreciated above that key 106 level. What's perhaps surprising is that it's done so uh, at a time when dollar index has moved back above 90. Only marginally, it must be said, but normally those two uh, items would move in the same direction. The only other real mover of notes uh, was uh, some weakness in the New Zealand dollar, perhaps its recent run uh, coming to an end against the Greenback. Now, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets today? Well, uh, a reasonably compact calendar, but still uh, some items of interest for us to pay attention to. First of all, at 10 a.m., we'll have Eurozone labour costs for Q4, key measure of uh, competitiveness in labour markets, not just across Europe, but obviously it's a global standard too. Uh, and then at the same time, probably the pick of the day's uh, data, CPI data core and broader measures for February, both month on month and year on year data here uh, from the Eurozone. Of course, inflation is key to the ECB in terms of when it feels it can turn off its QE tap and turn turn towards normalising interest rates. 12.30, we'll see the release of building permits and housing starts for February uh, in the USA. Uh, there's been much talk about how the housing market, how that will perform going forward. Mortgage rates in the US are creeping up uh, and the question is, will that turn in turn rather uh, start to deflate the housing market there. We're also here at 13.15 about industrial production and capacity utilisation the numbers uh, for February out of the states. 1400 seeds the widely followed uh, Michigan Consumer Sentiment Index being released this data is for March and at 1700 the influential Baker Hughes oil recount will shine a light on US oil production over the last week. Right, breaking news and comment then that's caught my eye overnight. First of all, Asia's Pacific leaders will gather in Australia for the ASEAN Summit. North Korea, economic cooperation, trade and the threat from terror are topics that will be debated at the summit over the weekend. Meanwhile, amid the Salisbury poisoning controversy, Russians will head to the polls on Sunday in a presidential election that is expected to return controversial leader Vladimir Putin for a fourth term. Staying with politics, moving to Washington, the Washington Post reports that the White House may seek to make yet another change to its roster and oust H.R. McMaster, the president's national security advisor. So the uh, turnover of staff in Washington doesn't look like it's uh, slowing down anytime soon. Right then, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day. And why not think about this? After the global financial crisis and the Great Recession that followed, unemployment rose sharply. But more recently, it has been reducing in many developed and developing economies. However, just as this is happening, the threat to jobs from alteration is growing and it may change the employment landscape permanently. Uh, there's an interesting graphic here that uh, tries to estimate when jobs and tasks will be taken over by machines. Uh, do spend some time looking at this, but I think you'll also see that even these predictions in some cases are already out of date. Driving a truck... Uh, and reading text out loud, for instance, are two things that uh, automation has already been able to achieve well ahead of schedule. Please take a moment then to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange on margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about the risks or the suitability of these products for you, then please do contact your Pepperstone account representative.